Hi, I'm Cam and welcome to AskMeIamBipolar.com. Today's question is, how does it make you feel when people say things like, that's so bipolar? So one of the reasons I started the Ask Me I'm Bipolar project is because I wanted to do my part to fight the stigma of mental health. Now, using phrases like, that's so bipolar, I'm feeling so bipolar today, that's definitely a negative thing. Now, personally, I don't really get offended at things like that, but it is kind of patronising. I think it's a lack of education on the part of the person saying it, and therefore getting angry isn't really going to help. The thing about bipolar is it affects everybody differently, so it's hard to say what being bipolar actually looks like. I mean, you have type 1 bipolar, type 2 bipolar, cyclothymic, rapid cycling, uh, you even have mixed episodes. The severity and the way a person's affected is completely individual. So what we have here is not just stigma and negative connotations, but it's general stereotyping. I mean, would you say to someone, oh, that's so HIV? No, of course you wouldn't. That's discriminatory. Well, the same rule applies. In fact, mental health is a protected characteristic under the Equality Act 2010. It comes under disability. Though I do have an issue with the word disability because I'm pedantic about semantics. Popular culture makes it okay to use words like bipolar in this way. Take, for example, the Katy Perry song, Hot and Cold. Come on now, if she had any idea how painful it can be to be in a relationship with someone like me, she wouldn't flippantly call it a case of a love bipolar. Honestly, I've really hurt people I've been in relationships with because of my episodes and because of my inability to cope with my own mental health. I'm terrified of being in a relationship. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want anyone to have to experience what I go through by proxy. I don't want to put that on somebody else. That's, that's just too much. I think if I can't cope with me, how can I expect somebody else to? I can't even explain what's happening to me sometimes. It's like asking someone to take on this massive negative responsibility and they shouldn't have to. You, you get the best of me, but you get the worst of me and the worst is worse than you could ever imagine. That is love bipolar. But you know what? Everyone's different and there are plenty of people with bipolar out there sustaining perfectly good relationships because there's obviously a lot of amazing people in the world who can deal with it. Anyway, the answer to the question, how does it make me feel when people say things like, that's so bipolar, it makes me sad. If people understood what it is that we have to go through with this, they wouldn't use phrases like that. I really hope my videos help to educate people and make people that use phrases like, that's so bipolar, realise that stigma and stereotyping is not okay. Thank you to Mike on Facebook for that question. And as always, if you want to contact me, you can do that on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or on the website. So send me your questions and I will answer them.